Listen, Marquise Noel is showing out in open practice for Raptors 905. Listen, Toronto stand up. Mr. New York City is doing his thing. He out here showing his bungees. You know, a lot of people, they look at Marquise due to his size and stature. Sometimes you forget this man got the heart of a lion. So to see Marquise Noel show the hot spot that he showed, it's not surprising at all. I'm not shocked at the very least at Marquise Noel. You know, uh, truth be told with you, Marquise Noel is going to do incredible things with the Toronto Raptors, and I believe they have a plan in place for Marquise. Uh, we all know Marquise went undrafted, but this was his dream. Anybody who's been following this man from Harlem, uh, Kansas State, the whole journey has been absolutely awe-inspiring. And for him to get the opportunity for the Raptors, uh, and, and like I said, you've seen Masai Ujiri call him personally. You can't tell me, um, if you're not a true basketball fan, if you didn't, you know, feel some kind of way in a good way for this man, you know. But now it's time for Marquise Noel to stand out and get on the Toronto Raptors, what I do believe is ultimately going to happen. Um, we all know, listen, make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports because we will be covering Marquise Noel as he takes shape in the G League, his first game is Friday, November 10th against the Long Island Nets. We're going to get on into that. We're going to break that down a little later. Uh, live from Uniondale, New York. Anybody that know Flight Sports, that's my stomping ground. The Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. If you're from Long Island, if you're from Nassau County, Nassau Coliseum, that's like Madison Square Garden. You understand? So it's definitely spectacular to see Marquise return. But we'll get into that a little later. Uh, obviously, Marquise is headlining this roster. Um, he's one of the two-way guys, along with another guy who they uh, picked as well. Um, I want to get into some names. His name is Javon Freeman Liberty, actually. And then you got Ron Harper Jr. Those are the two ways that are on the G League for the Raptors 905. Like I said, headlined by Marquise Noel. I'm going to give some names to some of his teammates. And let me know who else we need to be looking forward to as well. Mind you, Justice Winslow will be playing along with um, Marquise Noel. So that's, to be honest with you, I'm very, I'm very happy with that. Believe it or not, I think that Justice Winslow provides a certain level of, you know, intensity. This man has been there, done that, and for Marquise to play alongside of him is spectacular. But you have Alfonso Anderson, Miles Burns, Colin Daltrey, Javon Freeman Liberty, Mohamedou Gaye, Ron Harper. We have uh, Makai Maker, Matt Millen, Darrell Moore, Amari Moore, Jalen Morris, Daryl Marcel, Marquise Noel, Mr. New York City, Kevin Abner, Jason Page, and Keith Williams. So I, I, I don't know how successful the Raptors are going to be, but I, I'm going to be honest with you. Here at Flight Sports, we've been covering the G League for a couple of years now, you know. So I think I'm qualified to speak on. I think I know how the G League is going to be set up. You know, clearly Marquise was not drafted, but he was signed, you know. And clearly these guys, what I've learned from the G League is they will prioritize the guys that they signed and the guys that they drafted. Marquise Noel is a two-way player for the Toronto Raptors. So that shows me that he's going to take precedence, you know, on this roster. He won't get lost in the shuffle. He's going to get every opportunity to make the, the active Raptors roster, which I do believe is his ultimate goal. We all knew when, when he was drafted that the G League was going to possibly be a destination for him. And there's nothing wrong with that. He wasn't drafted, you know, but he clearly has NBA talent and the Raptors have a plan for him. And now I just want to hope that the G League coaching staff does right by him. And I know he'll get the opportunities. And like I said, we will be tuned in. Y'all let me know what y'all expect from him points wise. You know, um, like I said, you have a game. They, they have a crazy schedule. They go from the 10th from the Nets and then they play. Um, the College Park Seahawks, I mean the Skyhawks, pardon me, and then they got a back-to-back -back with the Skyhawks, and then they have a game against 
the Greensboro Swarm, which like I said, we, we are very familiar with the Greensboro Swarm. That's going to be a really good game too. Marquise Noel facing off against Amari Bailey, uh, maybe Nick Smith Jr. We don't know exactly who will be on the Greensboro Swarm, but make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports because we will be monitoring the Greensboro Swarm as well. So if you're a G League fan, if you are, you have guys that's on your roster that you are excited to, to see, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button because here at Flight Sports, we will be coming covering your favorite players. We, we won't leave nobody out. You know, that's one thing that I can guarantee the people. You know, uh, this is going to be a spectacular season, you know, for the Toronto Raptors. And let's hope that Marquise does everything that he needs to do with this roster, you know, to be successful. Um, you know, Masai is going to be keeping tabs on the situation. And can Marquise recreate that magic, you know, that he did at Kansas State? where he captivated the world, you understand? And I, I believe that that's going to be a great possibility for him. And his talent, he has it. It's just he's undersized and people could try to use it against him or whatever. But at the end of the day, he'll tell you right off the bat, it's hard over, hard over size. And he's been proving that for you. You don't get to where he's at at his stature if you don't have heart. You understand? And I think he got some, some lions with him on this Raptors 905 roster who I think is going to be make him very successful. And if he can somehow get to the active roster, like I said, this guy right here is screams the next Fred Van Vliet. They have uh, experience with guards of this stature. Fred Van Vliet just signed for the chicken up there in Houston. You know, he, he won a championship here. Marquise could shoot it. We all know he got handles. I mean, Marquise Noel right now, I mean, he's not in the NBA, he's in the G League, but you could arguably say he's a top five ball handler in the league today. You, you can't tell me that there's 10 to 15 other ball handlers, you know, in the league better than Marquise Noel. It's just, it's, that's, that's, that'll be a false statement. And here at Flight Sports, we will debunk it. You know, um, we are very excited for the season really just getting started. That goes for both. You know, this is going to be an exciting year of basketball. Um, let me know your thoughts on his hops as well. Uh, it seems like everything that people feel like he can't do, he proves that he can do. You know, so he's he is that guy. That's one thing I can acknowledge. Marquise Noel is the guy. He's, he's the truth in the half. And there's no way to to slice that. You know, he's just one of the best point blank period and he's going to get a chance to prove it in front of the world and here at Flight Sports we cannot wait to document it y'all we can't wait it's going to be like I said let me know what y'all expect from him who else are we looking forward to seeing and let me know are you surprised again with his hops because that's not what he's known for for his jumping ability you know but clearly if given the opportunity he will dunk on something cross something up shake something shoot over whoever and taking it and mind you this man don't get enough credit you know for taking it to the basket at the clip that he does i'm gonna leave it at that i'm talking too much make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe if you're rocking with marquise noel